Guys, it's time to watch TV. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes! Okay, I just want to leave that in. Nope, they don't serve love, but they do serve food. Okay, well, I was wondering about it. Anyways, on to Plankton's lab. Look at that guy. With that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Chunk bin, jelly beans, a robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh, Plankton, you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the duplicato drug. I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. You've interfered with my plans for the last time. SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom. And here we are, folks, the main event. A gauntlet of ever-increasing ferocity. That's the ticket! Ladies and gentlemen, meet SpongeBot Steel Pants. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Dang it! So, what you're supposed to do in this boss is to hit these that. buttons. Made himself dizzy. And then after a while, the Robo Plankton, or is it Robot Plankton? I usually mix the two up. He'll start attacking you, and you have to hit him to get hit SpongeBot to uh you know, attack you. That's kind of the uh, gist of what you're supposed to do. Huh. The robot's just too big for a direct attack like that. Weird how it like showed on that side that the uh, light was still on, like I didn't hit it. Even though I did. Eh, let's go for the nose. Suck it to him, SpongeBob! Like, you have to predict uh, which arm he's gonna use if he, you haven't hit the arm yet. Reef. There's another opportunity for SpongeBob! Good lord, shut up! I'll stay quiet for you because the music in this one is amazing. The robot better change tactics and fast! Actually, you know what? Never mind. Because uh, there's too much noise going on. So, when we get to the other phase, I'll play the song. Now the robot's taking a beating out there! This is the other attack that he will do. Say, Karate. Use the words to literally flip around the thing, platforms, and then you have to switch around so that way you won't get, like, hurt. Or whatever. Very fitting that in the final episode, this is where we're going to be seeing the rainbow sky for the final time. At least for now until the bonus episode where I talk about the cut content. The humanity, or should I say, the fishanity? So, yeah, you, when you get hit, it's no like bottomless pit. SpongeBob 
is back in the fight. There's no bottomless pit. There's just a floor there, thankfully. So you have to keep running. You can't just go back and forth with one platform to the other. Like I tried to do. Whoops, wrong button. Now we have one more button on the right side. That's it! Now issue the coup de grace! Hit me with the other arm! Dang it, man! Wait, can I just like sideswipe it over here? The robot's just too big for a direct attack like that! Oh my god! Hard left! Bang! There we go! Alright. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrieking! No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger! SpongeBob, it is fluid to your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton! This is just getting too weird for me. I like how when they cut the plankton, the obey sign wasn't there. Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? So now comes this phase, where we have to navigate ourselves to this, those things, destroy those, and then destroy the brain of the robot, while trying to avoid plankton's attacks. Robot is down. Now I'm gonna. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. All right, now I'm gonna edit this video to where this part will be muted and let you listen to the song. Yeah, the song really is a banger. Anyways, they're gonna make things a little harder with hitting the Duplatron thing, but it's still easy enough to get hit. And... So, I tried making a uh, second file of this game. Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Just the, the another like another like third file actually, just to see if the NPCs would actually like still turn Spongebob away from me. Hit the fuse. I just did. Anyways, I made a third file to see if the NPCs would uh, look away from me like the other time. Just like uh, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And uh. No, they didn't turn away from me. However, they did turn away from me on my first 
file. I, although that was like from years ago, so I have no idea if uh, I used key codes on that file or not, because of, of how long that was. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. All right, and now we get to here. We have to avoid Robot Plankton's attacks. Hit him. Oh, okay, maybe just a little. A little. It's hard to hit him with the cruise bubble, but I, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to hit him with the cruise bubble. Or if I can just hit him with any other move. That giant robot brain has to have vulnerabilities somewhere. Yeah, so after that, you use a cruise bubble, break the fuses, and after that's done, you move on. And just do that two more times, and the boss is over. I don't know if the these platforms get smaller or not as it goes on. Whoa! What an opening for a guy literally filled with openings! Ro are you talking about Robot Plankton? Or Ro Ro Spongebob Steel Pants? Alright, final line! Hit the fuse. I, I am, dude! Shut up! That's there we go, okay. Now the coup de gras. And that's it. Becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized coffee grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. But we got all of the golden spatulas, though. Wait. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? And that's it. 
That was the uh, oh, the secret cutscene for when you 100% complete the game. And uh, yeah, this is the credits. You just become your sponge ball, roll around, collect shiny objects, and just read the credits as they very, very quickly go by. Like, that's kind of a weird way of just doing it. I I don't know if there's a like a like a little secret thing to get if you collect all the shiny objects in this little uh, arena, but it's still kind of fun around fun to just roll around, collect all the shiny objects, and just be a little pinball. So that's really it for this whole game when it comes to the content. Or is it? Because as I said earlier in the episode, I'm going to be making a bonus episode and discuss this, the uh, cut content and and also just maybe talk about stuff that I didn't get a chance to talk about. So, join me next time as I talk about the cut content in the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. See you guys then.